Hey YouTube, it's me again, Brandon, and you're watching another episode called Hanging with Brandon. Now today, I'm making something very good, something very awesome for dinner for me and my roommates. I'm gonna make shredded pork sandwiches. Now let's get started. I have a bunch of pork in the slow cooker. Some of them are pork steaks. And uh, what kind of pork do we have in there, Tammy? Boneless pork, just odds and ends of what we had in the freezer. Oh yes, you can use any kind of pork you want, I believe. Now, the ingredient I'm going to put in is some diet root beer. Just to let you know, you don't have to use diet root beer. You can use regular root beer, or maybe you can use any kind of your favorite soda. Yeah, why not? Go ahead. Use any of your favorite soda. And I just hope I have enough for this pork. Hmm. Huh. I think I might need another can. No, that's plenty. It'll be fine. Oh, okay. And now I'm going to put some brown sugar. This is how much you need. All right. And then I'm going to put some uh, black pepper. And then I'm going to put some onion powder. Garlic powder. Hot sauce. And some barbecue sauce. I'm gonna use Baby Ray. You can use any kind of your favorite barbecue sauce, but I just love me the good Baby Ray. The Baby Ray is awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, to seal it up, Okay, where, ah, here it is. It's important to seal it up when you preheat it up. Ah, now I'm gonna turn up to high. And it'll be cooking for like four hours or maybe even more and I'll be right with you. Okay, so I let the pork cook for like five hours and as I'm waiting for it to be done, I'm gonna show you how to make coleslaw that I'm gonna put on my pork sandwiches. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use a dull. I'm gonna use the dull coleslaw. This stuff is really easy to make. You can use any kind of coleslaw you like. In fact, you don't have to use coleslaw at all. But I think coleslaws are so good in a pork sandwich. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Very tricky to open. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take out the dressing that's inside of it. it has its own dressing. Okay, it has green cabbage, carrots, red cabbage, everything you need in a coleslaw. Yeah. Like I said, you don't have to put like, you don't have to put like a coleslaw in your pork sandwich, but I really think it makes it really good. Okay. I'm gonna drizzle it in, make sure it has enough. Mmm, looks so good. Now stir it up, stir, stir. Oh, I'm worried I might not put enough. You know, it, it comes with just the perfect amount. Huh. Oh, here we go. Oh, now we're getting... Okay, now here we go. Here we go. Want to make sure it's in there properly. Every last drop. Good. I want to make sure I'm stirring it good. Mm. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have this with our sandwich. Oh, looks so good. And the bread we're gonna use are, we're gonna use some delicious what rolls are these again? Rolls. Outdoor rolls. Those rolls are really good in a pork sandwich. You don't have to use these if you don't want to. You can like, use any kind of bread you want, or you can use a hamburger bun. Oh, I would suggest you should try a brioche. I bet it'd make it really good on a pork sandwich. Brioche is the best bread. Ooh, like, is, did I get right? Is it a brioche that I love to use in a chicken sandwich? Yep. Which one of these days I would like to learn 
is how to make the chicken sandwich that they do at Popeyes. Oh, their sandwiches are so good. Yeah. And I also like uh, Chick fil A's chicken sandwiches. Now, they're really good too. Yeah, they're good and very tasty. I just wish the chicken was more bigger like they do at Popeyes. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep stirring and I'll be right with you. Check on the pork. Oh, look at this. Look how, look at the color of it. It's so beautiful. And I'm gonna show you how to take it out, but you gotta be careful. Pork is like really, really hot when you cook it in a slow cooker. Oh my God. It's already becoming loose. Yeah, well I'm gonna put it on the plate for now because I'm gonna make my own kind of shredded pork and my roommates are gonna do their own kind. They don't like my kind of cooking. Ooh. That's too much fat and it's so easy fault so easy to come off the bone. Ooh, look at all this pork. Alright. Okay. All right. Yeah, look, it's crumbling up right now. That's what I like. That's what I like about the slow cooker. It can easily shred. The meat can be easily be shredded. And you know what? To be honest with you folks, don't judge me, but this is the first time I ever cooked pork on a slow cooker. This is the first time I ever did. I don't really remember I've ever cooked pork. I don't think you have. I think you did chicken. Yes, I know I did chicken. Yeah, all right, and I think that's all. I think I'm gonna try a sample right now, see how it turned out. I hope I didn't miss the pork. No, I'm pretty sure I got it. Gonna... Will you do me a favor? Uh, yeah, right, okay. yeah, what's up? Oh, I was just gonna ask you to unplug it instead of turning it off, but that's fine. No, 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 it's more simple that way. Thank Maybe you. Maybe safer. Now, I'm gonna try a sample of this yummy pork. Okay, I hope it's... God, I hope it's very flavorful. Especially all the ingredients I put in. Oh! Mm. Mm, not bad. Very sweet. Very smoky. Mm. I was worried it was going to be a little dry. Mm. Yeah, it tastes a little bit of that brown sugar. Mm, but not bad. Tammy, would you like to try a sample? I will in a little while. All right, and I'm gonna put some of my pork in there and I'll be right with you folks. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, sorry about that folks. Um, so, here's my pork. I had to separate the fat and the bones because that's how I like my meat, just meat. And before I put it with my bread, I'm gonna put a little bit of barbecue sauce to make it a little saucy. There we go. Hope I didn't put too much. All right. Mm. Good about pork sandwiches to put a nice good barbecue sauce in it. All right, now. All right. And pretty soon we're gonna turn on the oven. We're gonna let it sit in the oven for like, uh, how many minutes, Timmy? Oh, maybe about two, because everything's already warmed up. All right, okay. Yeah, and this is Tammy's sandwich. She doesn't want my version because, well, she hates my cooking. I don't hate your cooking. Are you really? Are you no. Sure about that? I'm positive. Okay. Now come you don't. Oh wait, you know what? Everything's all good. Cause I cooked the pork, so you're gonna love it. Exactly. Yeah. Duh. All right. A little, a little bit more. I think I grabbed too much pork. Sorry to be stingy, you guys. And now I'm gonna put some Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is so good on a pork sandwich. I prefer pulled provolone, but I'm afraid Swiss will have to do. You can put any kind of your favorite cheese in there if you like, but me, I'm just gonna do provolone because that's all we got. Swiss. That's what I meant to say, yeah. Swiss. Why <laughs> did I say provolone? God, Bryn, get it right. No, no, stop. You said provolone because that's the kind you like, but you also like Swiss. Well, yeah, because provolone is really good. In fact, 
One of these days, we should make a sandwich with uh, bacon and chicken and put provolone cheese. Because mm. that's something we should do. We should make a special bacon and chicken and ranch sandwich for maybe in, in one of my next videos. Yum. With avocado and tomato. You guys can put that stuff on there. I'm not a big fan of avocado. Sorry, folks, but I'm not. But, Tammy, you can do that. Okay. But right now, let's focus on this. All right. And now... And now I'm gonna. And now I'm gonna be right with you. We left it in the. We cooked it in the oven for like a. What temperature? How many minutes? Uh, Three fifty for about seven minutes. Yeah. And oh, good. It's crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. That's how I like my bread. It's just more good that way. But first, I'm gonna put a little bit of honey mustard. You don't have to put honey mustard, but I'm gonna do that because it sounds good. Oh, come on. Mm. Mm. Hang on there, folks. Stubborn. There we go. Ah, that's that's enough. And now I'm going to put some coleslaw in. All right. Mm, now, I'm going to close this up. Close it up really good and grab a knife to cut it with. Yeah, I'm gonna have something else with, with the sandwich, but I'm just gonna show you how perfectly and delicious this pork sandwich really is. And see how good this folks, look at it really good. Take a bite, look at it, look at it. Now I'm gonna take a bite. Cut this up really good. Mm, now I'm gonna take a bite myself and see how it turns out. Mm. Oh my god, that's the best. That's the best pork sandwich, pork sandwich I ever had. It's really delicious. I did good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> well, I better get going. It's dinner time, and I'm going to enjoy this lovely sandwich with a side of potato crowns. So, leave your comments. And if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.